Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I have spent over 14,000 units on this event. And for the record, I would never have spent them had I not been saving up all year, especially Battlegrounds. Um, well, Battlegrounds chances for the tier I'm in, but also just in general, saving up and hoarding, of course, battle chips and arena crystals. I have just completed another, I should always claim that, Day of Battle Ready Battlegrounds Solo Objectives. And that has, in theory, given me a chance, if my math is correct, and Lord knows it oftentimes isn't, it's given me a chance to, to do this. To get up to 3,500 caps commissary points with just a day left. I spent so many units on different tiers of the loyalty trade-in, the units for loyalty, and it gave me zero credit for any of those things. It gave me the most pathetic amount of points for the 8,888 unit uh, cost for the rank 4 to rank 5 rank up gem nexus crystal. In general, this feels like the biggest scam in terms of points in the history of MCOC. I have spent so many more units than so many people out there, and I barely have 3,500 points to show for it. I have also not missed a single Battlegrounds uh, solo objective in this 10 day period, and I have also fought more uh, alliance quest fights than my average alliance mate member has. And that's not to say they're average. I'm just saying on average they've done like six fights and I've probably done eight. All of that has equated to this. And look, I'm thankful for 900 units, but I spent over 14,000. Now, to be clear, I didn't have to spend 14,000 because most of them didn't help me. The 8,888 unit deal helped me way less than I thought it would. And the loyalty unit trade-in didn't help me at all. And I'm a little annoyed and even angry about that. And I don't get angry much about this, but when you're spending thousands of units and you get zero credit, like, I should already be at max points right now. And I should be opening a seven-star crystal that's probably going to give me, like, a gambit. It's not going to break the bank if I was here and Kabam was offering this right here. But I'm not going to get here because I refuse to spend more units and more time and more anything in the store. And so it's not the end of the world to me if I don't have a seven star civil warrior or a seven star hero crystal. I am not going to lose sleep over this. But it just, it just sucks. Like, I don't feel good about this at all. I feel like I was cheated. I feel like we were all cheated in this event. And this is not some video that's supposed to just try to get people to make clicks because, oh, Mr. Negative's at it again. I really do feel cheated. I feel scammed. I feel cuss scammed. We were all cuss scammed with this. Whoever made up your point system, it's like they dropped a zero. Other than the loyalty bundle, which I guess at a thousand points is, is fair. But like, if we look at this, defeat an opponent in Alliance Quest, it should be worth... 100 points, not 15 points. The finish the Battleground solo objective also could have been worth at least 100 points. The Commissary Bundle in the unit store should have been worth 500 points, not 50 points. The only thing that was priced reasonably, and it still was a very high price for so many people with loyalty, was the Loyalty Selector Bundle. And I think so many of us looked at this point system when it first came out and went, why is that so much higher? What sense does that make? And I thought maybe, just maybe, it would become more obvious as the event went on as to why the points were the way they are. But there was a show, it's still technically on the CW in the United States, but it was very popular when I was growing up on ABC called Whose Line Is Anyway? And they would always start off with this improv show, which was amazing, and say the points don't matter. I feel like that's this. This is the 2023 September, almost October version of Who's Lies Anyway in the game. The points don't matter because they make no sense. And 
I almost feel like a chump to even get the 900 units back because it just feels like I was still scammed. So, YouTube, I don't feel good about this. I feel very annoyed about this, but I want to use my channel as a platform to speak other frustration. Kabam, everything about that point system just needs to be scrapped. And really, and I know people are going to probably be up in arms about this, but I'm going to end the video here. I think there should be some kind of like point compensation. They just they just messed up the math. And it's very obvious. If you spend 14,000 units and you're not close to getting the 7 star, that's a, that should be a crime. Ugh. Anyhow, I'm done ranting. Hopefully this is a video that helps add voice to some of you who are frustrated but don't have a YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.